This week of trying different king cakes throughout Acadiana is almost over. If you haven't seen us try your favorite king cake yet, let us know where to go next on our Facebook and Instagram surveys. Now let's find out where my fourth stop was. Today for Lydia's King Cake Tour, we are at our fourth stop. We are over here at Gotro's in Rain, Louisiana, and we are visiting with Miss Cherie Gotro. Thank you for joining us. Well, thank you very much. Thank you for coming to visit. Now, this place has been around for a long time. You were telling me 55 years Gotro's has been around, you guys, and it is family owned. I think that's so amazing. It has started off with uh, Mike's mom and dad, and it's just been passed down to different generations. Now, of course, we know what we're here for the King Cakes. How has King Cake season been for you guys? It's been great. We've had a great season this year. Um, it's been really great. I have, we have lots of new customers, and it's just been had a great season. Now we have a few right here. What flavors are these king cakes? These cakes are not filled yet. So okay. what we'll do is we'll fill them, and we'll decorate them, and they'll be ready to go. We try to color some of them that way they're ready to go when customers come in, and they can request the filling that they would like. Mm -hmm. And we do them as they come in. We'll have some ready in the front. So customers that don't want to wait can grab one and go. We try to do a lot of pre-orders, and that way we'll have your order ready for you when you get here. All right. Now, can we see you fill one of these? Yes. How about we'll, what's your favorite filling? Ooh, I don't know. I'm. We I'm. Have Bavarian with chocolate. We have cream cheese. We have raspberry. We can do your raspberry cream cheese mix. I love chocolate, but I'm eyeing the raspberry. All right. And you can also do half and half. Okay. Okay. Let's let's do a half chocolate, half raspberry on this one. Sounds good. And while she's doing that, every king cake comes with a little flyer, a little piece of paper, and it tells you the kind of story behind the baby in the king cake, which I think is really neat. Twelfth night of Christmas or January 6th is the Epiphany or Little Christmas, and so whoever finds the baby, um, they bring the next king cake, as we all know, but that is how it started um, whenever they found baby Jesus. So I think that's really neat that they throw that in there to tell you guys the little backstory. That looks amazing. Look at all so that flavor coming out. Have chocolate, and then we're going to decorate it for you. All right. Now, you guys do this all by hand. A lot of places everything have like little machines they do it. Y'all do it all by we hand. Do everything by hand. We cut donuts by hand, all of our king cakes, everything is by hand. We make, everything is made fresh every day. Mm -hmm. Guys will come in maybe between 10 and 12 at night, start with the Oh, man. Cake. So that they can get everything ready for the donut guys to come in at 2.30 and start making donuts. That is some early mornings. <laughs> it's very early, but it's always very fresh. We mm -hmm. make our chocolate. We make our, um, our very own cream cheese. So that is basically made every day. No wonder it smells so good in here. Everything is made fresh every single day. Made with a lot of love, too, I'm sure. Just a few calories. <laughs> just a few. Just, just a, a few. few not many. Calories. But honestly, who are we kidding? King cake calories don't count. They don't. It's Mardi Gras they season. Don't. We gotta have some king cake. And this is your official. Beautiful. Mardi and that Gras is our cake. half chocolate, half raspberry. What a combination. But it's my two favorites. That's so. It. And it's yours to take. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Miss Cherie. Right. It was so well, nice well, chatting with you. You too. And y'all enjoy. All right, you guys. Again, Gotro's here in rain.